Hello everyone, I'm Lucio Tian with Coffee and Craft.、Um, today I have released、uh, Little Craft Cat version 2.5.6. As usual,、um, it includes a lot of new features and、uh, improvements that、uh, make it easy for you to draw your、uh, Little Craft project. So please watch this video till the end. Okay, so let's go jump in.、Um, so the first new feature is. Um, now you can specify the、uh, number of stitches、um, when you do auto stitching. So let me、um, delete、um, this stitching holes now and start over. So,、uh, stitching, auto stitching here.、Um, until the previous version,、uh, there are only two modes here、uh, auto pitch and the fixed pitch. And then、uh, this time I'm gonna choose auto pitch to、um, auto stitch this curve from here to here. And、um, uh, as a result,、uh, the number of、uh, stitching holes is 22, and then、uh, pitch was、uh, 4.01 millimeter. And then if you do the same thing here, then、um, because this line is longer than、uh, this one,、um, you get more stitching holes, so 24 stitching holes. But there are some cases that you want to、um, you know, create the same number、uh, of stitching holes as、uh, the other line. And the previous version,、uh, you could do it. Uh, by changing the pitch manually、uh, little by little and then find the optimal pitch.、Uh, so that, that was possible, but it wasn't intuitive. So、uh, from this version,、uh, you can now specify the number of stitching holes that you want to create.、Uh, so choose this one and then、uh, it's already say 22. So、uh, let me do that. So from here to here. Uh, now, the number of stitching holes generated or created is 22, and then pitch、uh, is 4.468. Now you have the same number of stitching holes uh, as um, other line. So, if you want to、uh, you know, make the number of stitching holes as 10, of course you can do it、uh, from here to here. Uh, it's more sparse like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10.、So、holes.、Um, of course, you can make it so this is 22, so you can make it like you know, 40. That is still possible, I think.、Uh, 40 stitching holes. Yep, so it creates 40 stitching holes. But anyway,、uh, the point is now you have a capability to、uh, create.、Uh, Specified number of stitching holes. Okay,、um, so let's go to the other topic. So,、um, this is about、um, offset for the curve,、uh, especially for Bezier curve. Let me delete these. Okay, so、um, when you、um, create an、um, offset line for a curve, a Bezier curve, I think you notice that. Um, it's not perfect, perfectly offset. So, this portion is wider, and then these portions are narrower. This is basically、uh, due to the mathematical difficulties to、uh, generate perfectly evenly、um, offset curve of a、um, uh, basic curve. But not many people know this feature. So,、um, when you click、um, the base curve and then press J key, Um, the Japan's J key, then you can see、uh, ideal offset lines. So, these, so from here, the same distance going、uh, outside or inside. So, this is the perfectly、uh, ideal、uh, offset line. So,、um, so, this is a guideline, and then you can turn it on and off、um, by pressing the J key. And then now, you, what you need to do is to Uh, edit the other,、uh, so this is the offset stitching line. So now you try to make it fit as much as possible. And then because you're not doing this, this is not like a you know, super, super、uh, accurate project. This is just a you know, leather craft project.、Uh, it just needs to be、uh, okay fit. 
So this, I think this, uh, yeah, maybe a little more. Um, yes, yeah, something like this. Um, I, I can do a little more if I you know, take some more time, but let's say this is this is okay now. And um, by pressing um, J key again, uh, you can turn this off, but sometimes you make a mistake J pressing J key and then you turn on uh, unnecessary uh, guide, you know, guideline. So uh, this is kind of uh, um, you know annoying. You can do uh, the same things for the multiple uh, lines. So press J key and then offset and uh, this way and then fix this line. And then once you finish, and you have to turn uh, these off one by one by select J and select J. And if you have five or ten lines, this way of doing is not really intuitive. So um, I made another hot key, which is uh, you know capital J. So you can press Shift key and J, and then it hides ev uh, all the guidelines. Uh, at the time, so um, you know, if you have uh, like all, let's say all the lines have um, you know guidelines like this, but you can just press uh, capital J, uh, that is uh, Shift J key, and it hides everything. I don't know how many people knew about this feature uh, from the beginning, but. This is a very uh, useful feature, um, especially uh, if you use a Bezier curve, um, you know, stitching line uh, from the Bezier curve, then this is almost a mandatory feature um, that you have to use. So please make some practice and please use capital J to turn everything off. Okay. Uh, the next new feature is um, SVG import. Um, of course, uh, there are a feature to uh, import SVG file from different software like Inkspace or, or Illustrator or stuff like that. But um, until previous version, uh, Lettercraft CAD only supported path and the circle SVG type. So sometimes, um, you know, your, your import SVG import failed because of that. But from this version, um, I increased the number of supported shapes like lines and the polygon, uh, polyline, and uh, uh, what else? Uh, rectangle and text. And then as far as I tested, um, I could import all the SVG files that were uh, sent from the users uh, for testing. Um, if you have experienced um, you know, SVG import failure, then uh, you might be able to uh, import that SVG file uh, with this version. So please try it and please let me know if you still have uh, import error or import issues. Okay, um, so the other is print. So this is mostly a Mac version, but um, so when you hit print um, first, you choose the printer, um, the order of the dialog box is a little bit changed. So now uh, with this version, uh, first you choose uh, which printer to use and orientation and uh, press, oh, this is Japanese, sorry. Um, uh, this is Japanese operating system. So you, you see in Japanese letters here, but uh, so here's the, the, the type of printer. I only have Microsoft printer PDF here. Um, and the printer orientation, this is a uh, um, port late, and this is uh, landscape, and uh, this is print and cancel. Uh, so let me hit print, and the next dialog box, and um, this is kind of annoying. Windows 11 users, uh, you might have experienced this before, but the next dialog box disappears, but there's a way to bring it to front. So just click on uh, workspace or you can uh, press alt tab key to uh, uh, go to the different window and then come back. Then this uh, dialog box should come back. So please try something and click on, uh, uh, on somewhere or make another window uh, front and then bring this one back. So that should improve and that should solve this problem. Anyway, um, so um, so now, so in the second dialog box, you choose the uh, paper type or paper size, 
Anyway, so Mac user, uh, you might have experienced at this point, um, you know, like you know, error message that says print index out of printer index out out of range or something like that. And I asked Chat GPT uh, about that error, and it, it sounds like that's an error of the development tool. And uh, but there's some um, you know walk around to it. So I did some modification and then uh, I'm hoping this version, uh, you will not see uh, the printer out of index error. Uh, so please try and then please let me know if you're still getting that uh, same error or not. Okay, um, lastly, um, I made a huge uh, improvement on the uh, leather uh, simulator. So here's a little simulator button here. And then you can try basically simulate how your leather craft pattern look like uh, when you uh, made a product. In this case, I can change the, uh, the design of the leather or type of leather like this. Is this good? Should I make this? Should I use this? Uh, as a background, or maybe I like the the other one. Type of um, you know simulation is possible, but um, so this was available uh, in the previous version as well. But there are some issues like um, you know you could not specify the resolution uh, of those images. So sometimes it uh, it's shown much much larger, or the aspect ratio wasn't correct, um, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of issues about the image size. But from this version, I added this uh, DPI uh, field uh, when you import image file. So now basically, uh, this is the uh, 10 millimeter scale which is shown here so you can so this this is 10 millimeter 10 millimeter and by the way you can change this uh, the, the scale size but uh, so this is five millimeter um, grid so now you yeah like this one uh, you can tell yes this is perfectly uh, sized and by changing the DPI to 380 so you can now uh, change this DP, uh, DPI to uh, make uh, the image size fit as the uh, original size. So let's let me go back to the original. Yep. So and uh, because of this, now you can. So this is a 15 millimeter circle, and uh, this is now perfectly 15 millimeter. And then um, this is uh, same thing uh, goes to here. Seven millimeter circle is uh, perfectly shown as seven millimeter. And the same thing uh, goes to this one. This is a five millimeter uh, grid or checkered design and it's five mil. So um, this way, and you can simulate um, your product more better way. But there are a lot of other uh, improvements that I made for this feature. And this time uh, I'm not ready to talk about that. And it's too long to talk about um, in this video. So I'm gonna create a new video to cover that, um, the new features that I made for Leather Simulator just for that topic. And I think this is it. And I'm, I made a little um, or minor bug fixes such as um, in the previous version, um, when I updated the uh, this development tool version, uh, it made some weird stuff like uh, when you try to select this number and then, but you know this number changes the value instead of like 11, 12, 13, or 9, 8, 7, instead of uh, you know range selecting the the letter or numbers. But this version it's fixed. There are some uh, other small small uh, issues fixed. But if you notice something, please let me know um, by email, Twitter, uh, whatever the method. If you want to know my email address, you can just go help menu and then uh, license agreement somewhere here. Where is it? Yeah, show sure, license agreement. And then my email address is written uh, uh, all the way down here. All right, so I think that's it for today. Uh, so please try uh, this version 256 and let me know what you think. And let me know if you have any questions, suggestions, issues, uh, or anything, just anything. Okay, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.